Raider Nation. It's your boy Graphic Raider, man. Back with another quick video. The views expressed to your graphic podcast. Welcome to the Black Hole of Raiders YouTube, y'all. Let's get straight to it, man. It's been really, really quiet outside of the you know recent edition of Willie Sneed. Really quiet. Um, which can actually be a good thing, man, because a lot of these guys in the secondary prices are going down by the day. But we are expected to show interest in recently released defensive tackle and former Seahawk Jerron Reed. Look, y'all, the 28-year-old former Alabama product, he had a career year in 2018 next to recent Raider acquisition Quentin Jefferson. Ten and a half sacks, 24 QB hits, two fumble recoveries, 12 tackles for a loss, 50 tackles, and 62 pressures. Him and Q are very close on and off the field, so this may give us a little boost to pick him up. Um, look, he's a clear fit. He's also familiar with Gus Bradley's system. I know he left um, Seattle a while ago, but they still implemented that kind of familiar defense for a while, so he's familiar with it. Um, this move would solidify our D-line, y'all. To get a defensive tackle that can actually get to the quarterback, that would be great. Look, we have Hankins. He's great against the run. Um, we still don't know what we have yet in David Irving. Um, we don't know what we have in Quentin Jefferson, but we know that both of them to, next to each other can be a dominant force. Um, does this maybe spell disaster for Mo Hurst? Maybe, man. Look, his playing time has been non-existent, and this is his contract year this year. So if we do bring on a Jerron Reed, I'm going to be honest, I think that Mo Hurst may be gone. I know that a lot of these are going to be one-year contracts. Even if we do bring Jerron on, in which, look, there's going to be a lot of teams looking for his services. He's a dominant nose tackle. He can get to the quarterback. He can play the run. So what do y'all think about this, Nation? He could be the missing piece that makes this line dominant, man. I love it now. Um, at first, I was like, ah, we have too many defensive tackles, too many defensive linemen, just period. But this can solidify that line. What do y'all think, Nation? Leave me some comments in the comments section. Jerron Reed or Raider? At this point, man, I'm going to be honest. I love it. You have a dominant front four. That secondary gets to breathe a little bit. You know what I mean? It's your boy, Graphic Raider. The views expressed to our graphic podcast. We are going live tonight, Nation. Later, though. You know, me and the wife got date night tonight. But later on tonight, we're going to be live, y'all. One.